From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de On, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fey do not kill death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. Do you think this one is then? Alpha? Dolana? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other.
a human. And not in bad shape. I'll mean by the look of him. You know how you can tell? Turn him over. See if there's a stick in his ass. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. They're all over. Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha!
Thank you. Thank you. Why, if you hadn't come along, I... Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You... You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive! Uh, well, um, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Oh, my. You don't know? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha de Own, the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works. It restored you to life. There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least... I hope he's there, and safe. Let me get this door. We can be on our way. Right this way. Uh, you, go. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. You're still groggy, but just keep moving. Move, move. the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. <coughs> Wait! Do you hear something? Just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us.
daggers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. I bet you're still groggy, but just keep moving. Move, move! Cave blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. This is incredible. What are you? completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those cloths make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. He's directly ahead, in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. <laughs> Go on. There isn't time to waste. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower, and I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The Well of Souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you... You're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. I am Fomorous Hughes, scholar of Vivification Prime Circle. We are standing above my life's work, the Well of Souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. A side effect of the prismere? A shape of the patient? No, no. If only we had more time! The Fey are... Uh... Complicated. I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on a pseudo-feudal court system alone. You don't know. They're called the Tuatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflow. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. 
What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. We're in the Feylands, miles away from the front lines. I thought we were safe enough from the war, but it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Wait, Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see it. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. They're inside the lab. Oh. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs>
Thank Matharu, another survivor. Are there any more? I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. This was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. Fomoris Hughes was one of the greatest minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come true. Who knows why the Tuatha hate mortals? Who knows why the Fae do half the things they do? <clears throat> the well was a beautiful dream, an end to death, a cure to tragedy. It would have made war pointless. It could have saved the world. We should have known it was too good to exist. Now our friends have paid the price. Stay safe. them we needed more guys. 